Don't even play with me. Get the whole... <laughs> oh, oh my god, I got a KO from the top. Oh, what a hit! Hello, everybody. Well, oh, actually, let me correct myself. Whoa, whoa, WrestleMania. Welcome to uh, season two, the conclusion with WrestleMania here on my GM mode here, uh, WWE 2K24. It's been a pleasure having you here for 50 different episodes already. And uh, yeah, for those that are watching here on YouTube, just a reminder, we do record these on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Mike the Ref. Every uh, AEW Dynamite, every AEW Collision, almost. Uh, you can stop over on Twitch and help us book live. And for those watching on Twitch, we do uh, show these off every Tuesday and Friday over at our YouTube gaming channel. Uh, YouTube.com slash Hatbackbreaker underscore gaming. Wow. You know when you're on vacation, your brain hits a clutch once in a while? I think that's where we're at. So you know what? I don't want to shock anything. I don't want to screw anything up here. We got WrestleMania here. The show of the immortals. Showcase of the immortals. This is going to be a lot of fun. This is going to be a great episode. But as you can see in the standings, we are 100,000 behind Raw in terms of fans. We're going to be able to catch that up. We will in season three, season four. There's no way in hell we're going to do that here. We are still technically in first place because we have more Hall of Fame trophies than them, which means we're being smarter. We have more money right now. We almost have three quarters of a million dollars, which the million dollar man, that works out right. <laughs> Everybody's got a price. And unfortunately, it's free today, so... Uh, yeah, so we're going to uh, book a WrestleMania card. And then following WrestleMania, we are going to have to redraft our roster. We get to keep a few, but then we have to redraft our roster going into season three here and basically start all over again. So let's, uh, let's do a tour here. All right, so... Carmelo doesn't want his next fight against Ilya, which won't be a problem. Cora Jade wants a rematch against Becky Lynch this week. So we were going to work this out a special way here. So let's uh, let's get our matches booked that we have to here right now. In terms of a level four, get rid of our level fours here. I want to do a backstage brawl because this is Seth Rollins' specialty. Where is Ilya? I always like to have the challenger listed first here. Gonna put the title on the line because titles are always on the line at, at WrestleMania here. So that's our opening match. A backstage brawl between Ilya and Seth. Don't worry about the cost. I'm gonna deal with that in a moment here. So another match we have. This one I'm probably gonna do as a main event. We do have the triple threat. We'll set the stipulation in a moment. We got Argus the Great, the champion. Stax Lorenzo, the first challenger. And Tread Shaw, the third challenger. We had this match before. This one here, I'm going to do as a TLC because it is a bonus for WrestleMania. So that will be another one of our matches. I put it as the main event right now. We can work things around and see which one we prefer in what spot here. So now our other feuds that we have to work on here. We got a fatal four way because we have to deal with the uh, Cora Jade inclusion here. So we're going to put Blair Davenport. We're going to put Cora Jade. We are going to put Ivy Nile, and we're going to put Becky in a fable. 
I know the rivalry's on cooldown, but with Mania, we're not going to have to have that problem. We are going to do an extreme rules match for the women's title. Now, the one that I'm really looking forward to one-on-one -on -one is one-on-one -on -one steel cage match right there. And our other level four feud that we got going on, JCJ to Billy Slugger. What stipu What better stipulation than a casket match? So we got three title matches. The only titles we don't have on the line are the tag titles, just because we don't have the spots for them. Ruthless is a five promo. All right, let's, you know what? We'll just do the call out promo just for the sake of it. Post below can put over some charity. We can, uh, like, basically, we're just realistically, we should do either trading or advertising throughout all these, right? Actually, I'm going to see maybe if I could add Scarlet to another match here, but we'll see here in a second. Fortunately, we can't add her to a casket match. And we'll give, just for the hell of it, we'll give Fallon a time to complain about life. Okay, so. It's t TLC branded pay-per-view. Especially match, casket, nothing on the line there. This one here, both guys are probably going to get hurt, but I really don't care. This one here, we have a level four and the uh, rivalry on cooldown, but it's going to be extreme rules. Then this one could be a TLC triple threat match, which gets the uh, pay-per-view boost. So I, I think we got it all in the right order. We got everything set up the way we should. I think we're going to do this, though. No, put that up there. Because I don't think we're going to get as high on this one because of the cooldown. This one, I think we're going to roast on. This one, I don't think it's going to be as good. And this one here should be absolutely stacked and amazing. Now, let's go take a look at our... Okay, we already got the... We bought that before we left last time. We have three assets, so minimum we need is five to get any of that other stuff. Our next one's going to be the eight. I'm waiting till we get eight. I want that stadium. Once we get the stadium, we should be sitting pretty for a while now. All right. First of all, last time we can use this. All matches are free this week. So our show costs all $16,000. 
All right, who do we plan on keeping next one? So, Stax is one. If we give it to Ivy here. I'm just looking at people that are, like, we're gonna be able to keep a few. Rollins might be another one we want to keep. I think we use it on stacks just to see how high we can get them here before we're done. Cora might also be another one I want to keep. Actually, with that, I should be able to get an upgrade with her. Yeah, let's do that one and then, yeah. We now have that a little extra to, we have a little extra work to do there. Not gonna put a last man standing match on the card. It just doesn't. Do I wanna move this? No, I wanna see a casket match. And this one they do best in a Yeah, let's do a last man standing for this one. And then we will use the, uh... And Cora gets a new perk. Specialist or bruiser. I'm definitely gonna switch you over to a specialist if I can at time. And then, yeah, we got two more perks left with her, so. Well, let's take a look at this one more time. Now we're going to get a boost out of this. I think this is where we're going to go. Because this is going to get a boost. This is going to get a boost. I almost think we go this way. Yeah, I think we go this way. Because this one's going to get five stars. I'm pretty much certain of it as we go here. But in terms of our cards, do we have anything else we can use right now? I don't care about morale. We're pretty much losing it. Might as well use it while we have it. Who's the lowest that's in a match? Use it on stacks just because I don't want them injured. All right, I think we got everything lined up here. All right, all the world hates coward. I'd almost laugh to see what auto booking the show would do. But yeah, let's get to it here. All right, so we're gonna have to look at everybody else first here before we get going. ECW, okay, they're opening up with Indy Hartwell, Sensational Sherry, Falls Count Anywhere. Level three and the rivalry grows. All right, good. Honky Tonk Man, a little bit over. Damian Priest, Julius Creed, just a regular match. One, two, that's three. Bell. Julius Creed, good booking there. Piper gets herself over a little bit. Ronda Rousey, Liv Morgan, TLC match. Ronda in a three and a half. He's grown all these rivalries. I don't know if he's going to get everybody back, though. Jake the Snake versus Tyler Bate in an Iron Man match. One, two, it's over. Bring it. 
three and a half stars okay Vicky McLeod once again and our main event for the world title Iron Man match between Sheamus and MVP why all the Iron Man matches four star okay so they did some decent work there WCW opening match extreme rules tag title match the blondes the blonde bombshells and Alexa Bliss and Tiffany Stratton taking on Raquel Rodriguez Gigi Dolan Raquel and Gigi become new champs in a four and a half all right WCW you're coming level four okay I see you there nice job Big E Captain Grog and Paragon J Pierce level four rivalry regular match That's it. Jay Pierce at a three and a half finishing that rivalry good job Karrion Cross barely puts himself over sounds about normal Randy Orton versus Tim Burt in a backstage brawl Orton's gonna be injured so nobody's gonna take him Orton out for five weeks in a four-star match I give him credit for the four-star match but Orton's out Booker T barely puts himself over regular tag team match Guerrero and Gargano Balor and Prince no men's titles on the line three and a half for the rivalry grow and our main event Adrian Buck versus Drew McIntyre all the titles around heavyweight tile on the line Adrian Buck new champion and out for a month does not surprise me the latest all right let's see what Raw's got Molly Holly versus Meachin no title on the line interesting with a run in from China four star match okay Carmella brings in 4500 people Kit Wilson and Otis okay let's see how this goes no title on the line again two and a half stars okay did Rogers crap the bed tonight women's tag title match in the middle of the show Natalia Baszler versus Vortex and Bailey One, two, three, Vortex and Bailey the new tag champs three stars Ugh. such a weak promo that's why it didn't make any sense why would you have China interfere in the opening match Champa and Rude so they flip Champa to face and okay One, two, that's three. Bring it. two and a half at a okay Shinsuke nothing wow breaker of truth versus Strowman oh fatal four way Breaker Truth Strowman and with the US title being your main event at WrestleMania. So Breaker wins the title. Rivalry's all done. All right. I can live with that. Sure. They didn't have a whole lot of stuff going on, so. All right. So Dragonoff has been itching at a chance of the title Rollins specialty is the backstage brawl so if he wants to put his money where his mouth is let's see how this goes in a backstage brawl for the IC championship as tradition the IC championship opens Wrestlemania and so that's what we're gonna do let's go and we just get right to the fight no no fool around here let's go dragon suplex already
Dragunov just wearing out Rollins here. Oh God. Oh God. The barricade has come down. One more shove and Rollins is going for a tumble. No blood yet, but oh God. That elevator is getting a workout here. Donk. I'd go for a cover already if I was him, but. Ripcord clothesline turns Rollins inside out. Shot underneath. Go for another one. That's a second one. Like seriously, Rollins is that hasn't even been able to get out of the gates here. Even though this is his specialty match. Dunk. One more time and that great goes down. Rollins finally getting the change up here. Go to the cross face. Shot to the stomach. And the elevator once again, doing its damnedest to work. Electric chair drop by Dragunov. Rollins gets back up to his feet immediately. I don't know if that was a safe move. Rollins has got to find some way to get some space here, I think. You ain't going to do it here. Dragunov just wearing out Rollins like no other. He's set up. He's got to be set up for the H Bob here. Oh, there it goes. One more shot. And Dragunov's going for a ride. Holding him up for that forearm to the back of the neck. Rollins finally picking up some steam here. Oh my God. Oh my God, Dragunov falls from the top. He's gotta be out. Nope. Rollins don't care. These two hate each other. Oh, I got, he was going for the trash can that thought better of it. He wants to inflict some more pain in a different way. Oh, is he setting up? Here we go. Time to check his pedigree. It's got to be rough on the knees of Rollins as well, but no knockout yet. Uh oh. Dragonhouse fired up. I don't know if that's going to matter. If Rollins continues this assault. Rollins decided to come down to the floor. We're gonna see if Dragunov is gonna follow him. Dragunov getting angry. Coming across. Rollins gonna give him a chance to get down? Wow, okay. Oh, off the case. Instantly changes the momentum of this matchup. Uh oh. Drag it over the chair. Oh my goodness. Rollins be split open, my friends. Drag it out. Might be just looking for his final opportunity here.
Garanagi takes down the champ. Shots once again everywhere. Powerbomb on the recycle bid. Then once again, another shot to the face. Dragunov just looking for that last blow. This chair might just do it. Oh. Get deep in the building now. Now just hook it on that sleeper. It's not gonna be enough to end this. Nope. Jack's a jaw. That's the way to fix things up. Are they going back to the scene of the crime again? The elevator's open. I don't know if they want to take it back where they were. It's pretty high up. Another shot to the face. Dragunov just keeping the intensity up here. And then a hard clothesline. Rollins with a little fight in him. Running power bomb. It's almost time they set up for the. Oh, here he comes. Up with that. Oh my God, counter. And Dragunov wins it with the RKO out of nowhere. <laughs> Four and a half stars. Rivalry complete. Rollins injured. We're going to have to see how long he's out for. Four weeks, Rollins out. We could bring Rollins back and just let him sit. I'll get into that once we get re, re, get to the booking part here. But four and a half stars, I like that for a start. Pretty ruthless. Call it out, Fallon. Fallon's already crabby, so I might as well get that to a three. This match here, casket match. JC Jane, Billy Slugger. I'm taking a risk here. If JC loses this, I, I don't know if I could pick her for the draft. But if Billy wins this, well, or if Billy loses this, no harm, no foul, right? Let's get to it. But I had to do it, right? I, I'm a little disappointed if we don't get JC back, but. I just love how WrestleMania is in Birmingham, Alabama. Making our way to the ring from Tampa, Florida, JC Jane. Like JC's had a run with us here for both seasons, did a great job in uh She's basically been set up to go after our title at the end of every last PLE prior to WrestleMania. And then the champion switched sides so that we don't have a... Then she didn't have a chance to go with the challenger. And this time it was actually Billy Slugger's fault, I do believe, that Blair Davenport got the championship. I believe it was a fatal four-way. Billy 
So we'll have to see how things go here. If I can keep JC here as one of our stalwarts for the division, I'm gonna I'm going to. My first preference will be Cora Jade though. Like the graphic or countouts. The only way to win is for a superstar to force their opponent inside of the casket. After closing the casket lid shut, the remaining superstar will be declared the winner. Now, let the match begin. These two have gone for like three seasons, I do believe, so. Makes sense that we have this going all the way that it is. JC not even waiting. She wants that casket lid open. Lung blower by Jane. I got a feeling that there's gotta be a little bit of a sense of desperation right now. A little bit of certain certainty. Like you got you got to be ready to go in a match like this cuz And a little bit of uncertainty there by Jane as she goes inside tries to take a look looks at the cask and then realizes oh yeah I better get on this I think Jade was going to try and look for a count out there in that situation Nice shot to the face there. Now, Billy Slugger's done a lot of great work for us as well. She's been a one-time tag champ as well with uh, Fallon Henley. Hey, Crowder. Night's been going decent here. I'm... Collision, I'll, I'll admit, wasn't exactly the best episode tonight. Uh, I think the biggest takeaway out of it is the fact that they're pushing Big Bill against Jericho. They're starting to put the, seed, the seeds towards it. Well, they're continuing to seed the seeds towards it. But then on Wednesday, we're getting Hangman Page versus Juice Robinson. But everything else on tonight's card... I'd say for the most part, we're get, we're looks like we're getting Shibata versus Jack Perry as well. After Minoru Suzuki was the uh, surprise opponent against uh, Jack Perry. Oh God, close the lid, close the lid, Jade. If you get the lid closed, you win. Oh, that's a bit of a rebound. And the crowd's booing because the cage is shut. Uh, Manoa was uh, the opponent of uh, Jack Perry in the uh, TNT open invitation. And Jack Perry won by count out, which, ugh. But no, in terms of WrestleMania, we're doing a great job here tonight. We had a four and a half star backstage brawl, Dragon Alvin Rollins. And now we got a casket match between JC Jade and Billy Slugger. So the loser of this is gone from SmackDown. But well, we sustained our first injury here on, uh, in terms of seasons here. Seth Rollins is out for four weeks because of the backstage brawl.
Jane, you spent too much time there. That's not good. I was tempted to play the... Uh... Oh, Billy back in the ca in the casket once again. This going to be enough? And again, Billy gets out of it. On this side, Jane's in the casket. Uh-oh. This might not be good. Jade fighting out of it. Jane, Jane manages to survive her first trip in the casket. But no, how's your week? How's your day been? Hope everything's going well. I don't know if you went to the RCW show as well today or not. Appears that they were doing an outdoor show today. <laughs> Looks like the entire stab. Yeah, I didn't even know about it, so I didn't go. I know I'm going to be meeting up with Astrid and uh, the rest of the gang probably on Monday. An undisclosed, undisclosed location. Oh, that took Shawn Michaels out. All right, JC, get that coffin open. You're going for more plunder? Shouldn't have went for the chair. It takes too long. Dominator on the floor. Jeez. I'm a little scared right now. Yeesh. Jane, I hope you get a reversal. Oh God. Scorpions herself, but still gets that through. Oh. Jade fired up. I liked it. Jeez. Billy getting laid out. Oh, there it is, a cyclone kick. Weird camera angle right now. Oh, reversal. These ladies putting on a Mac Classic here. Jade stuck in the casket. Uh oh. Could this be it? Jade fighting with everything she's got. Jade fighting. Just manages to squeak out of there. On again. Another shot. Looks like Billy's got this one in hand now. Kick to the face. Jane's got to do something to change the momentum now. 
Kevin Dunn camera angles missing the fighting close of the casket. Of course. And there we go. Is this going to be it? All right. So we've had four times now they've tried to. Jane going for more weapons. This is not good. Oh, there's the shovel. That's a bit of a home run for Billy. Well, I'm going to get bad booking on this WrestleMania because a four and a half versus a five. JC trying to get out of this, but there's a reversal. Flipped in. Oh, is that going to be it? Fights ensuing. Could this be it? No, once again. Billy manages to get out of it one more time. JC once again goes for that chair and it just that chair has not been paying off for her here tonight Lid is closed Yeah, the other thing you'll hear about uh, Collision tonight is they completely screwed up the video on it. A uh, couple weeks ago, you, there was a little point there where they had a loop of about seven or eight. Seven or eight seconds that kept looping, and then all of a sudden they uh, had to go back and re-edit. They had to restart the uh, video. It was supposed to finish on time, but it ended up finishing five minutes after. Oh, Billy, Billy, Billy. Just straight power bomb on the floor. Both these ladies have to be absolutely exhausted here at this point. The Dominator. You got to open the casket and put her in. I think that's what she's about to do right now. She's taking a long way around. Be, be in the showcase of the immortals. Well, that's one last ride, I think. I think Jane may be done, which is going to suck for a future booking, but. I took a chance. Oh, God. Jane just gets cracked. Punches that away. There you go. Under, over. Gets met with an elbow. Jane just has not been able to get anything going here. Into the casket. This might be it. Close, so close. Is she gonna do it? No! Jade kicks out at the absolute last second. Oh my 
my god, desperation down to the outside. Yeah, this should be about a 17 star match the way this is going. Oh, here we go. Oh. Don't taunt, get on her. Oh, missed the spl missed the scent on. Oh, into the ring post. This is getting tight. This might have almost should have closed the show. Jane out on her feet there. Oh, she gets to recover. Misses. Oh, Jane getting her second win right now. This got me. What am I kidding? It's like a 14th win. But no blood yet. That's the thing I'm amazed about. Big splash by Jane. Billy seems to be out. Now this time, Jane eats the steal. for the kendo stick actually this is smart you don't have to use as much for it oh the cyclone kick that could be enough jade don't what are you doing jc the casket's open Oh, got to get some steel steps. Too late. That was not smart. That was not smart. Now the three backbreakers. Oh, just two? And the power bomb. She gonna reverse? Nope. It's almost academic now. Well, JC, it's been a blast. I wonder if that just means I can't redraft her. It's tough because I really wanted to keep JC around, but the fact that she lost this, I don't know if she's allowed back, period. Wow, there's a pose. Okay, four and a half again, so we did survive. Oh, that sucks. That's the thumbnail, absolutely. Post Malone, 7,500 fans. I love you, Post. So this one here, we have a criminal and a cop. Of course, well, we should be doing a cage match, but the uh, bonus for the PLE, or sorry, we have a power card for uh, Last Man Standing. So I want to use a power card up. I probably should have done a cage match. That would have made sense, but that just wouldn't be me. That and the fact their stamina is pretty low, so. Let's do a tour here. 
it's probably not going to be as exciting as that last one. I'll say that. Didn't get a chance to play any of the tag titles on the line here. Just because we had this feud with uh, McDougal here sitting here for two months, I didn't want to waste it, so. The following is a last man standing match. Making his way to the ring, representing the Judgment Day. From San Diego, California, weighing in at 200 pounds, one half of the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, Dirty Dominic Mysterio. And I'm hoping this last man standing match actually ends the rivalry as well. Like, a, the only non level four rivalry that we are ending here tonight is the main event, actually. I was only able to get uh, Argus Dax to level three. Well, that's going to be fought under TLC rules because that is the branded PLE bonus, so. I love the new, uh, the new, uh, what is it, rent a guard rent a guard The new, uh, Twitch, or the new Twitter name for him. It's probably anything else they tried to put on there just didn't match up. rent a blue that's right. Sorry, thank you. Probably anything to do with McDougal or Cop or anything. It just it, it, they were all probably taken and probably getting a lot of email, probably a lot of tweets. Thank you, PJC. My brain's been all over the place, even though I'm on holidays right now. So yeah, this is a last man standing match. So the one thing this will do, this will save a lot of the uh, stamina for a lot of the guys, so. McDougal will go to the top already. Flying elbow misses. <laughs> you know you should get somewhat close to your uh, opponent when you're doing that. Another half and half. Dom gets McDougal back in the ring. That's probably the only thing it's just. McDougal's wearing out Mysterio here. Nice kick to the back of the knee. See what I can do about getting people up for uh, next season and who I want to bring back. 
because I've been a little all over the place in some of my picks. I, I think the main focus I want to do is a lot of tag teams for season three. See if we get a few factions put together here. We do have a little bit of extra cash to spend, so. Not that I want to lose all that cash, you know, just. Oh, here we go, three amigos. Is that gonna be enough? That ref is counting quick. What the hell is that? Okay. Domberg over here. Yeah, that that was about as fast as Dom is with living one night <laughs> Once again another four and a half star match We've gotten three four and a half stars so far, so I will take that Bangers all around Guter get me some money I'm probably not bringing Gunter back for next season. All right, this one here. Cora Jade said she wanted to have a match with Becky Lynch in the next two weeks. I want Blair to put the title on the line. Cora's got a feud with Ivy. Potato, potato, potato. We have this match here. The reason I put it as a setup to the main event is the fact that Blair and Becky are on cooldown, so it sh might bring down the score a little bit. But we'll see how things go. Let's take a look. I love the Mania setup here. But by next year's WrestleMania for us, Season 3, we will be in a stadium every week. Season three for the sickos? Maybe. Like we got three more seasons to go through here. But it's gonna be a very quick season too, cause we're gonna be booking these two weeks at a time. Uh, at least the first three weeks are gonna be done two weeks at a time here, cause we have uh, next Saturday is uh, Bad Blood. Week after that is Wrestle Dream. And a week after that is Battle for the Belts for AEW. And introducing the challenger, representing the Creed Brothers from Knoxville, Tennessee, Ivy Nile. So we'll be doing a lot of dynamite double bookings here. And I think we're gonna do an actual Wednesday night stream is actually going to be our first PLE for this next season. It's going to be the day after Title Tuesday. Because, well, frankly, there's nothing going on that Wednesday, so maybe... Maybe get that in just to be safe for all of us here and I 
I do appreciate how they have the champion coming in last. Yeah, if Cora wins, I think we'll keep her as our second pick. I know uh, in our first season, we ended up picking up JC, Becky, and Seth, I think. No, it's JC, Becky, and Gunther. And uh, Rollins was one of our first picks. That's what it was. Here, I think it's probably going to be stacks. Stacks, Cora, and I'm still not determined on the third one yet. not expect Blair to win that title at that at uh, Survivor Series so many different ways we could have fixed this up but So yeah, this is going to be a fatal four-way for the Women's Championship. Extreme Rules is just an extra moniker, so we get the extra boost out of it. I do believe that is uh, Cora's specialty, so... That's why we picked that. Like, when it comes to feuds like this, I like to pick which one is the uh, specialty of one of them. Especially the one I prefer to win. The only thing I have to remember is as we go along, Heyman's got that card that he could play that uh, at the first PLE he'll play his card and he does that boycotts three of your champions from competing. So I think I'm going to go champion list for the first set of matches up to the first PLE so when Heyman pulls that card I got nobody to it's gonna affect nobody on me it's gonna be a little rough to uh, in terms of the star ratings if we don't have the rivalry set up and whatnot uh, I just finished the two first two uh, cokes tonight. They're uh, President's Choice Colas. But I soon will be switching over to the Bud Light Chilada. Mainly because they didn't have any Caesars at the, uh, the liquor store when I went on Thursday. I told myself this vacation I would do one case and that's it. I don't drink a lot, but what I do, I make it worthwhile. One case per day, right? No, I like to be standing in the morning. I think the most I've had is like three so far in a night. I'm a very light drinker. I very rarely, I'm so used to driving that I don't bother. 
Looks like we might get a pinfall of the rig here. Jade is horrific. As Ivy's wearing out, Becky on the outside. Ref, get over there. Not even a one count. Can't remember the last time I, I very rarely do. Like, I have a bottle of rye sitting in my fridge right now that probably has gone bad. Cora, 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 Cora. Never do that to Becky. Yeah, just looking over all the talent here, it's like Becky's said a lot for me, but what more could I do with her? Oh God, Ivy just chucked that sledge. And chucked that garbage can, Jesus. Ivy is not fooling around. Back elbow, flying knee, Blair Davenport now, take it. Taking it to both competitors here. Javelin the sledgehammer looks safe, yeah. That definitely looked like an RCW move to me. I just can't believe the top talents bringing in the Beast Mortos for their show on the 18th. I'm, I'm extremely happy for them. Uh-oh, arm bar. Ivy comes in for the save at the last moment. Attorney at RAR. I seriously want him to come out wearing a suit like that. Blair's got Becky isolated. This might be the spot she needs. Backdrop driver. Yep, Blair's getting ready. Oh. Double stop. Uh oh. Cora, oh, Becky kicked out last sec. What is Cora doing? She should have been in there breaking up that cover. Cover ref. Blair's not even close to work. There we go, that'll get her stamina down. Only a one count now. And I be again with the trash can. Like I swear, Ivy's got a got something for javelin stuff. Oh, well, this is gonna suck. All oh, right, that's gonna suck. That's gonna suck even more. Oh, quick roll over into the cover. That, that might be it. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if they would have made the save there. I just got that tap in. Corey breaks up at the last moment. Fujiwar, small package. Now we're getting some action here. Knee to the face. I 
Ivy just patiently waiting right now. Not going for the cover, obviously. Double arm DDT. Yeah, that wasn't going to happen. Blair eats the sledge. Becky eats the sledge. Everybody gets a sledge. Oh my God! Matt Handel slam out of nowhere. Becky's gonna take the title back. No, just a two. <laughs> I thought that was an easy one. Ivy with a dive on Becky. That was a crazy, I thought for sure that was gonna be it. Cause that's how Becky won the title the first time. I will say the Mania matches definitely live up to their building in terms of time, in terms of action. <laughs> Blair looking for a dive fight and nobody. Except for Dom Squash and Con well, it's still got a four and a half star. Somebody's got to get back in the rig. Oh, she threw the trash can away too late. Back elbow, go for the cover. Oh, there's the knee. Oh no, reversed into the garbage can. Ivy's gonna do it. Ivy Nile is your new WWE Women's Champion. That was a hell of a finish. She would have been playing with that garbage can throughout the entire night. And finally it comes into a position where she gets the victory with it. Congratulations to Ivy Nile. Winning it at the show of shows, WrestleMania. She really has been a workhorse for me, so. I might even have her as. Ooh, and Becky's hurt. Four and a half stars, and Becky's hurt. This is not. Injury after injury. Becky out for a. M Husband and wife are going to be home for a month. All right, let's see here, Fallon. Yeah, you're leaving anyway, so I don't really care. Our main event. Finally, we are bringing in the ladder once again. The last time we did this, it was a glitch. Apparently, the glitch has been fixed on that. You're down to like one FPS. Oh, you're talking about Fallon. I'm like, you're talking about me. I'm like, what? We were having problems earlier, so. All right, time for our main event. It's here. Oh, no, I'm moving around fine. All right, never mind. Sorry, we were having uh, issues earlier with my stability. I actually had to stop and restart the stream because we had... Uh, uh, encoding issues so 
you got me a little worried there, my fa- my friend. Sorry. All right, so Argus won the title just a couple weeks ago from Trent. This is Trent's rematch. We got Stax Lorenzo having a feud with him as well. We got that's a level three feud. TLC match is a special brand bonus. Let's see if we can get another four and a half out of this. Let's take a look. Once again, everybody, thank you for being here today. I truly do appreciate it. Well, after we're done here, we do have to redraft season three. So we're going to get into that right as soon as we're done here. I'm seeing my stream preview and everything's coming out fine, Crowder. I don't know. Paul Heyman tried to sabotage you by nuking the street before the main event of WrestleMania. So we might have to put Ivy as our third person. Realistically, she's done a lot of work for us. So maybe we could build her up throughout the uh, next season. Wouldn't be the worst thing in the world to bring in uh, two women on that pick. And the Shaw Stopper. Maybe try uh, resetting your stream, uh, Crowder. Because I'm looking over my preview, I'm looking over my phone and everything. <laughs> yeah, everything on my end is looking like All right, here comes the champ. So we got two jobbers and, sorry, two creator wrestlers. And introducing the champion from another time, weighing in at 200 and Oh, it's your browser, okay. The undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Argus the See, I tried to use Opera before for my uh, operating system when I do Twitch, but it isn't compatible with Guest Stars, so I just switched over to Chrome. And I also found that I was getting quite a bit of those stream errors. Let's go, Trent. All right. Stick it with Edge. Eh. Nothing wrong with Microsoft Edge. Always good to be basic sometimes. Simple is better some days. So yeah, this is for the WWE Championship, so. Okay, Trent, you grabbed the chair. Why didn't you use it already? No, I don't want to use a chair. Or maybe he's just trying to show that they could have a chair at ringside. They already got a table and a ladder out there. See, the Reds will be the smart guy. He's bringing the ladder in already.
Argus is literally fighting against two cruiserweights. Double heart punch. Impressive. Clear for the TRS and the way there. Two big bulls trying to connect each other at the same time. There you go, Trent. He's gonna let you two fight. Argus already up there trying to get at it. No way. Glitch! Glitch! What the hell is that? Here is your winner. And still, the undisputed WWE Universal You see what it says there? I, I believe duck and run is what I should be doing right now. What's that phrase? Start the car, start the car. Argus, you've been great, but wow. So we got all four and a half throughout the entire show. We hit a home run for sure here tonight. Some confusing answers, but we'll go with that. Let's, uh, all right, let's take a look at the report cards because this is going to be, I think, four and a half would put a top five Mania main events of all time. <laughs> Probably. It sure as hell wasn't, but all right. Let's go see where we're at here. Amazing booking. Rollins out for four weeks. All our rivalries are complete here. Ruthless and Henley got a level three. Amazing booking here too. But look at those scores compared to everybody else. One rivalry complete. Then rivalry complete there, level four there. He's hoping he can keep all these guys, right? And then ECW just gets good booking. They don't get amazing booking. Because their mid card isn't that good yet. All right, time to figure out the stuff that really matters here. Let's go see. Uh... Rivalry was top notch, matchups top notch, match specialty. Because they didn't have a match specialty, it was what? Let's take a look here. All right, ECW. 196,000 fans on that show. And $278,000. Okay. It's 267,000 fans. We're going to get a smaller number just because of that power card we or that uh, trick card we played two hundred and twenty five thousand fans and 247 now let's see this number two hundred and seventy three thousand fans and we are this close to a million dollars we are almost at a million dollars. Holy. Because a million dollars is another uh, Hall of Fame trophy. So 
as long as we're not completely stupid in the draft we might actually hit it well the health spy ain't gonna help right now because season's over all right so we actually caught up like we were down 90,000 fans we are now only down 50,000 fans and Heyman what has happened to your crowd you dropped down big time uh, neither of three or four have a women's champion which actually might be a pretty smart thing right now but as per tradition as well as the fact it won't save right now let's advance forward here and let's get into the draft for season three first of all the slammies most tag team call up promos we'll take that the comeback kid largest increase in fans i'll give him that one because he definitely brought himself back most iron man matches eric bischoff most backstage brawls paul Heyman. yeah i'd agree with that there's a there's our season two summary for our gms and our slammies highest total profits two single show 275,000. that would be us most rivalries completed 16 that would be us highest average card quality during ple's 84 that would be us uh most new fans wcw when you're that far behind you're gonna do that best match card quality single show yeah he had almost a perfect show and raw had a lot more consistent shows so yeah that would make sense for his good shows ended up being really good and his average shows in a bit gig you're late so i'm gonna rewind at the beginning of the 2k24 stream how was collision collision was there uh sammy guevara being uh sammy guevara against okada was decent hangman page is now going to be facing juice robinson on wednesday after the aftermath of beating Jarrett tonight uh, Minoru suzuki was the special opponent against uh jack perry ended up losing by count out but it looks like we're getting Shibata versus Perry as a few going forward. Jericho won against Orange Cassidy in the uh, Tornado Trios. And Jamie Hayter won as expected. So all in all, just a there collision. I wouldn't say an over-the-top great one. Or, uh, yeah, not necessarily... Nothing bad, but just nothing to say hello to you and make it worthwhile so well yeah there's our summary here what we got going here we just made we're almost at a million dollars right now not counting all the salaries are getting released and all that stuff so uh every match every match is a banger by the way i was i was waiting for a little bit of advice from you but i just you know deck with it let's go for it and yeah so let's let's get past the season two summary here there's i think two more screens and then we have to pick our carryovers so let's take a look oh we get to see each individual one total fans 4303 total revenue 7 million average match quality 2.85 robberies completed 16 challenges completed we have four hall of fame trophies so far most matches won popularity gain most matches but ivy got the most matches booked so that's here's the thing two of those people i'm looking at has my keepers here check out raw here most matches won molly most popularity gained our truth that's should be truth most matches booked our truth that's how you got your popularity Hive its match rating 3.8. Most weeks been injured. 
Yeah. Most matches won for Bischoff is Orton. Jay Pierce would have to get that popularity gain because he had none to begin with. Most matches booked, highest rating, most weeks bent injured. Yeah. And most matches won. Piper Garza with the most popularity, most booked. Candice LeRae injured a lot. All right. We had no we had nobody listed as injured because nobody got injured till tonight. So the happy if you didn't notice, the happy couple got injured tonight on uh WrestleMania here. So well, let's move on here. Season three. Record your keepers. Select your keepers. So, stacks I want to keep. So this by cost right now, our most expensive ones to keep right now. I think this is the way we're going to go. We got our women's champ. Cora's been... Even though we don't have that feud right now. If I keep either one of these two, they got to sit out a month. Corbin's not doing anything for me. Neither is Gunter. And more often than not, I'm looking at Cora and I'm like, now that I can put her as a specialist, I can pretty much put her against anybody. And Stacks going for the future. He's going to have to rest a while, though. Or do I see if I can pick him up in the draft? Popularity, there we go. Drag it off, you take. Do I want to take Ivy or do I want to take Ilya? I think I might take the risk and use Ilya as an early pick. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to risk taking Ilya as a first. Ilya might be my first pick going forward here. Yeah, let's do that. So, yeah, the lower you are down, the more you, uh, the more chance you get to keep people. So, since I finished in first, unfortunately, I only get to keep three. And I wasn't really happy with, uh, well, Argus, I'm not going to keep because, well, he's a jobber. I don't need to waste my keeping money on him. Uh, Ivy, I wanted to keep. Sucks that Rock at Bailey. That's the one I would like to keep there. And then, of course, ECW keeps Julius. I'd really like to get him back, but. All right, let's continue here. Oh, it's reverse order too. Okay. Seamus. Think I really want to go with Ilya here, but.
I love how their recommendations are almost a die jack right now. Smackdown drafts Ilya Dragunov. Okay, so that's my first pick here. So let's see now. In terms of, they say Omos, Dijak, Reigns, and Baszler. How much is Reigns? 350. Ugh. As we're going through here, I'd like to, okay. So Ivy's a brawler. I'd like to see if we get a fighter in here. Carmel is a little costy. We could bring JC back. Screw it. We've done a lot of work with her. Let's. Yeah, we got to bring the girl back. JC we got to wait eight picks now to see what we can pick up. They definitely took some heavy hitters. Wow. All right. Um... Rhea's got... Let's see what we got for men here left. Right now, I only have a cruiser and a specialist, so I'm pretty much wide open here. What we got on the lower end here? Well, right now, we should be looking at some bigger picks. Try and get some get some kind of Oh, that's why they're recommending Ivor and Veer and Die Jack. I'm tempted because that's a good deal right now. Okay, so we're back to the top here. Gargano would be a... Randy Orton at 416 is a hell of a pick, but... Do I want to use that much money up on one guy here? Champ at a level 12. Gargano's at a level 15. This shouldn't be this difficult to pick, but... This actually might not be the worst pick in the world pick in there, but... Most of these guys barely got anything up here, so. One, well, I'm gonna pick one male, one female here, I think. No, I'm not gonna pick Logan. Do we take Braun? I'd almost take Dijak over Braun at this point, so. Ivar's got 82. Oh, that's stamina. Popularity, okay. 
I think I'll take Dijak right now to take on Stax. And Ripley, we could bring Ripley back. That'd be a hell of a lot of a cost, though. Shayna and Nikita is their two picks for us. How much is Shayna here? Shayna's a level 14. She could go basically up against either one of those ladies. 375. What is... Nikita is a level 9. So she's almost going to increase here. I'm going to guess that she's available next round. Shinsuke, Champa, Piper, okay. Indy, that's always a good pick. Alexa, Ridge. All right, back to me here. I need to. Like I'm try trying to see what I can match up here with what I got here. Uh, Brace could go up against stacks. I need. So for males, I have heel giant, heel specialist, face cruiser. I need another face here, so. I know I'm who I'm looking for, but don't know if he's available right now. I'd almost go with Trick here, but. We use Grimes already. Maybe bring Butch in. Butch is only a level five. Gable for 221. I'm thinking maybe we do do that Gable to level 10 we can work on his popularity that won't be a big deal we should get a bigger name though Maybe Gargano. And Gable's the next site specialist. 
What's Gargano at eight fifteen? Okay, so yeah, I think we're gonna go f go with Gargano. So they're telling me Duke Hudson's the uh, recommendation. Jay Uso is a cruiser. It's a lot of money. EO Sky is a. Cr I'm just looking at their recommendations here first. Bring Alba in. Let's check out the info here on Alba. Okay, so she's halfway to 14. Promo's a four. Or we go with Tiffy. We already had Tiffy before. We've had Blair before. And we can flip Rhea between a fighter and a... That's a hell of a budget. Who else do we have for... I wish we could put Toxic Attraction together, but... Do we have any Zoe Stark's a level eight. Level five, my bad. I think Alba's the one to take. We could flip her right away here, so. Smackdown chooses Alba Fire. Damn. Gable is gonna be right here. Okay, so Adria Buck, Finn Balor. Oh, that's right. They they drafted all guys. No girls to the roster. Interesting. So Nikita's still available. Think we do Nikita and that'll line up our women's roster. Picks, Nikita Lions. And then they're saying Carlito. Matches up with absolutely nobody. Sammy Zayn, what do you got for your card for me? You can flip the specialist. And you got good mic skills. 337. I think Sammy's the play here. Yeah. Smackdown chooses. ECW's done. They got Jake. They got uh, Julius. Those the four on the left are who they kept. And then yeah, on the right, they only picked up Liv. All right. Okay, I think we need one more man heal if 
fear to level 10 dom at a level 12 Uh, I like somebody with a little bit of cash left. Do we do solo? Matches up with nobody. Fear might be the smart pick here. He worked for us well last time we were here too, so. Extreme rules match, especially a basic injury. Barely level 10. We just got a last couple picks here. I think after this pick, we're going to be done. Giovanni's only to level five, but he's got 50 popularity. Solo matches up with nobody. Wow, this game's realistic. Hey. I completely agree with it. So what's Drew got? Tables match, basic power, so he doesn't have the injury part. Hey Crowder, you go with Vinci or you go with Gulak? There's 50,000 difference there. I just don't know which way to go here. I need a, I need a heal ma male. I could always flip somebody if I really want to, but. Like, Grayson's only got a level six, so he's barely been used. Thing theory has good value. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna trust you here. Hell in the Cell match specially. All right, let's go. Okay, I think let's take a look here. If there's anybody left that we really want to spend money on because we're down. We spent a lot of cash. Let's see if there's anybody of value we can pick up yet. Because I think 12 people is enough for our roster. We could pick up some jobbers to get things back up. And of course, Thea is sitting right there. We're going to go 13. I'm going to take my pet project. Smackdown picks. Thea. And we're done after this. Raw's got their roster set and we got our roster set this is gonna be fun so our top are Shayna, gargano dragon off jade this is gonna be fun trying to book a card going forward here but we'll see all right Time to set her up. So coming first week, we're going to Buffalo. Triple H. SmackDown show promise last year, but you need to be the best, not merely competitive. I need extra effort from all fronts this year. Better shows, better roster management, better financials. Let's go get things right.
few mistakes, a little bad luck. Things go differently this year. Time to execute. I'll check in with you again later. Next season, of course. I guess Pierce took most of the honors last season with Raw. Maybe SmackDown and ECW could, should go easy on each other and focus on the real target. Heyman's going to try and screw us, but I'm going to just go with it here. No question to the ones to people. But we have a good roster and a solid plan. How's the prep going, DBS? You can't wait to see a battle between Raw and SmackDown. We think we have the advantage now that we inked the contract of Molly Holly. But we know you got some good superstars signed up as well. Good luck. All right. And Cora, because she's the only one we had a promise with before. So we got her morale boosted. I like this. All right. Woo! From the basic power card superstar perk. You've earned this power card from the basic power card superstar perk? Okay. Double the cost of an opposing brand's matches for the next week. I like it a lot. So we got all our promises done. We're going to have to put a ch one in our champion next week. Oh, bad publicity three. I like that. And then here we got, well, Ivy got an upgrade after her last match now that she won the title. So we're going to, uh, this could be an interesting roster to play with here. Let's just sort it by gender here. On our women's side, we got Ivy now as a champ, followed by Shayna, Cora Jade, JC Jane, Alba Fire, Thea Hale, and Nikita Lyons. That's for HPC too sweet, because I know he wants that. So we'll we'll go there. Uh, on the men's side, we got Stax, Gargano, Dragonov, Austin Theory. Dijak and Sami Zayn. So we got some uh, free agents to work on. We got some. Uh, we'll, we'll see how the card fills out as we go here. But this definitely turned out to be a very fun experience here. But uh, that's going to wrap it up here for tonight. For those on Twitch, hang on. I'm going to send you guys on a very special raid here after we're done. And then, but uh, for you on YouTube, always remember we do record these after AEW Dynamite, AEW Collision here over on the uh, Mike the Ref Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Mike the Ref. And for those watching on, on Twitch, this is going up on our YouTube channel, uh, youtube.com slash at backbreaker underscore gaming every Tuesday and Friday. If we do some bonus ones, it might be Saturday as well. We'll see how things go. But. No matter what's happening, uh, thank you for being here regardless. If you're here on YouTube, hit the like button, hit subscribe, and uh, tell us what your favorite match was tonight or which pick I completely botched on here. So, But with that being said, thank you for being here. I'm going to send you guys off, but always remember, be part of the solution, don't be part of the problem. And we'll see you all here next time on the Backbreaker Gaming YouTube channel. Take care, everybody.